guys, so today I'm going to be doing a drugstore get ready with me. I've just asked on Twitter what people would prefer to see and the winning vote is a drugstore video. Also, I'm not naked, I have actually got a top on, it's just an off the shoulder top. The only thing about this drugstore video is that I don't have a foundation. I've got two drugstore foundations, they're both the L'Oreal True Match, but they're both in the complete wrong shades and I don't want to throw my makeup off like that much. Obviously a base is pretty much the most important part of your makeup. This looks like it would suit me, but it's really, really pink and weird. It's just such a strange shade and then the other one that I've got is so dark on me So I'm gonna use a foundation that I think is really sim similar to the formula And I'm gonna use a Too Faced Born This Way Both of these foundations are like a medium coverage They're both not too dewy They just remind me a lot of each other So this foundation is amazing I've used it before but I don't know what shade I used to use Because I had a massive clear out So once I find the shade again I will definitely go back to this But for now, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use my favourite concealer right now, which is the collection Last Imperfection. I've become obsessed with this again. It used to be so popular and everyone loved it. And then everyone kind of like drifted off of it and now I just love it so much, it's super full coverage. Another thing that I'm loving is Sharni Grimmond. I can't get enough of her videos lately. I absolutely piss myself when she goes, thank you. <laughs> I've started saying it and I'm like, Gabby, stop, 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 you're not cool. But it cracks me up so much, thank you. I'm going to put so much of this on to brighten up my under eyes. I like to take it on my cheekbone as well. This is such a look. Thank you. I'm going to take my beauty blender to blend this in. I love this beauty blender. I used to be like, what the hell is the difference between this and any other sponge? But it honestly is so different. This is so dense. Like, it's kind of like memory foam rather than a sponge sponge, if you know what I mean. So hard to explain. If you've used the Real Techniques one, that one is so easy to squish and like so easy to move. This is more dense. I love it. Oh, I love it. Ooh. This base combo right now is rocking my entire world. If you can see up close, it just looks so good. So for powder, I'm gonna take my Rimmel Stay Matte and this fluffy brush. Love this powder. Always have. I wish I was one of these people who could rock the really dewy look, but I just end up looking greasy. Like, <laughs> doesn't look dewy and nice on me. It just looks like I've had my head in a chip pan. So I always powder so much and then I add the dewiness with like a highlighter. I'm gonna use this Colourpop brow pencil. I know Colourpop is not available like in the UK. You can order it online, but this is so affordable that I can't not use it. So I'm just gonna fill my brows in with this. Haven't used a pencil in so long. Whoa, it's pigmented. Bronzer, I'm going to take my solar powder by Soap and Glory and contour and bronze my face up a little bit. This might not be dark enough, I do have quite a lot of tan on today. Wow, I just showered. For blusher, I'm going to take this Revolution palette in Hot Spice. It's got like loads of different shades in. And I think I'm going to go for this one at the bottom. It's like a marbled colour. Oh no, my favourite blush brush is drying. But this is kind of like a highlighter as well. I'm going for a very bronzy look today. Okay, that is definitely more of a highlighter. So I'm going to go in with one of the matte shades. Just add a little bit more blusher. That's better. I think that's enough blush for one day. That first colour was pretty though, it gave me a highlight. 
Lovely. On to eyeshadow, I'm taking this Revolution palette in the shade Matte 2. It's got so many different shades in. And I'm actually just gonna go for a winged liner look today. So I'm just gonna like subtly contour my eyes with these shades and then do a wing. What are you guys up to today? Let me know. I absolutely love when you leave like loads of comments because I reply to so many of them and it makes my day. So if you're feeling like you want to chat, definitely leave me a comment about something. Tell me something fun. But there's so many shades in here. I don't know which to go for. gonna add a winged liner this is gonna take me ages I find it so difficult I know I say this every time but honestly on camera it looks like 10 seconds but off camera it's legit like 10 minutes for each eye <laughs> what I did start doing is getting kind of a dark brown shade and lining my upper lash line with shadow before because that helps so much I'm obviously taking my Ardell Wispies, my favourite lashes ever. I feel like I need a lifetime supply of them because I use them constantly. But I've just put some Duo Lash Glue on, so I'm just waiting for the glue to dry a little bit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what lip to go for today. I could either go really nude and rock the like bronzy look, or I could put a colour on. We'll have to see. I know that I've got a nude down here, like I would have to go upstairs if I wanted to put a colour on, and that's commitment. <laughs> onto lipstick I'm gonna take this one from the body shop and it's called Tokyo Lotus I was choosing between this and Kali Gerbera Gerbera didn't know which one to go for I'm thinking pink look let me know in the comments if you like it I think it's super pretty I literally match my sofa right now I love all the products that I used the drugstore has some incredible makeup and if you guys would like me to do another one of these videos with some other different products let me know but give this one a thumbs up if you like my get ready with me's and you would like me to do more also I've brought out some merch if you didn't know if you haven't been watching my videos so I'll leave a link to that below if you want to check it out and yeah, I'm gonna go now. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.